What's going on YouTube? In this video, we're going to talk about how to run Sekuli scripts, the ones that you write in Sekuli IDE. Uh, I'll show you how to run those scripts through the command line and I'll show you how to pass arguments to those scripts as well. So this is going to be a very short video. Let's get to it. So first thing first, we're going to create a new project in Sekuli IDE and then similar to how we use sys, we're also going to import sys and we'll just print out something uh, for the args. So we'll say sys argv and then we'll access the arguments um, in the similar manner how you usually do with Python. So let's just give example for three different arguments that we're going to pass in. This is just so when we run the script, we see those args are printed out. So now I'm going to save this file. This is a very simple file. So we'll just run that through the CMD. So I'll, I'll do save as, and I'll go to this PC, and I'll just save it into my SQL um, directory. So I'll call it demo, save it. So I have my demo file over here. Now, Sekuli can execute this demo.sekuli. Any folder with extension.sekuli is actually executable by uh, the Sekuli jar. So, next step is to find this run Sekuli.cmd uh, file. So, I'm just going to drag it over to my terminal. I'm going to say minus R. That means I want to run a script. So I'm going to also drag and drop this demo.sequily folder in here as well. And then I need to pass in args. If I didn't have args, I could just execute this script and it would run. But since I have args, I'm going to also pass those in. So I'll say dash dash args. And let's do cheese, ham, and eggs. So now I should see this script print out cheese, ham, and eggs. Right, so let's run it. And there it is. So that's how you run security scripts through CMD. If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, take care, guys.